This time we're crossing the right leg in front of the left. Left leg is behind. Inhale, raise your left hand up and overhead and stretch over to the right. Your hips are going to the left. Again, fingertips against the wall or palm against palm. Now try to straighten your arms as much as you can. Keep your feet grounded into the floor. Keep squeezing your inner thighs in towards each other. Now chin away from the chest. Or maybe look up past your left shoulder. Stay here for another three, two, and one. Slowly coming back to center. And cross the legs. Standing facing the wall one more time. Pressing your hands into the wall firmly. Inhale, lift your chest. Shoulders down the back body. Exhale as we round the back. We shift the bum back. Bend the knees. Coming into almost like a chair pose. And inhale, come back up. One more time, just to release that lower back a bit. Exhale, bend the knees. Sitting the weight into the heels. Keep your arms long. Biceps by the ears. And slowly come all the way up. Very nice. Coming into a calf stretch, we have two options. Option number one, we're going to take it a little bit easier. Have your hands slightly lower than shoulder height. Step your right foot forward, left foot all the way back. Now, depending on your flexibility in your ankles and in your calves, it's really up to you how wide you take your legs. In this position already, I can feel the stretch in my calf and in my ankles. Pressing firmly into the hands. Just push your heel back down towards the floor. Keep breathing here. Hopefully your mat is not sliding away from the wall. Two. And one, step back in. This time right leg goes all the way back. Left foot forward. Try to remember how far away your foot was. Start pressing into the wall. One leg will always be tighter than the other, so one leg will always have a little bit more difficulty. Just make sure that you move slowly. Don't try to force your body into the same stretch. Inhale, slowly step it back in. Your choice to continue with that same calf stretch on either side and open your legs a little bit wider. Option number two, you're gonna walk right into the wall. Keep palms in front of your shoulders. Step your right toes into the wall. Your heel is on the mat. From here, we inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, we push the chest towards the wall. Stay in here. This is a very intense, intense, intense calf stretch. So if this is too much for you, go back to our first variation. Breathe. Two. And one, slowly come back to center. Stepping your feet down, switching to the other side. Left toes against the wall. Heel down towards the floor. Inhale, lift your chest up. And then exhale, push your chest towards the wall. Three. I really feel it on the left ankle. Two. And one, slowly release. All right, one more shoulder stretch before we come into our seated postures. Have your forearm against the wall, walk in, so that your elbow is in line with your shoulder. All right, you can choose to stay here and start to shift your gaze towards the right. You can even turn your toes over to the right side. All right, if you wanna make sure that you are stable, just look down and make sure that your heels are directly underneath your hips. If you want even more support, place your hands onto your belly just to make sure that you are actually keeping your core tight. You're gonna feel the stretch in that left shoulder. Those of you who want a little bit more, face your feet in the same direction as the right side of your mat. You're gonna move the elbow backwards. All right, elbow still in line with the shoulders and you're gonna face your chest forward and puff your chest out. This is the other intense version of the stretch. If this is too much for you, go ahead. Place the elbow in line with the shoulder. Face your feet to the right. Whatever degree works for you, hand onto the belly. Make sure that you're keeping your core tight. We'll stay here for another three. Two. And one, I felt that. Oh, yes, okay? Shoulder tightness. Sometimes you feel a little bit of tingling in the fingers. As long as it's not unbearable, if it's too much, just come out of it. Shake that hand out. Come back into it slowly over time. When it opens up, you feel a lot less intense. Coming over to the right side, right elbow against the wall, shoulder in line with the elbow. Again, option one, turn to face the left. Turn your toes in the same line as your gaze. Keep your hand on your belly and face this way. 
Option number two, stay facing the left side of your mat, walk the elbow back, shoulder in line with the elbow, puff your chest forward, breathing here. Whatever variation you choose to do, we're gonna stay for another three, breathe, two, and one, slowly come out of that. Palms in front of you again, feet underneath the hips, we press into the, into the wall and around the back. I'm so used to saying floor or mat. This wall is our best friend, honestly. It's the best way to stretch. And slowly release your shoulders and your legs should feel quite nice here. We're gonna come against the wall, back against the wall. And now we're gonna do a little bit of core work. I know this is supposed to be stretch, but we're trying to release that lower back. So we have a very natural curvature in our lower back. And when you put your bum and your heels against the wall, you're gonna find it's really almost impossible to try and get that lower back against the wall. So from here, we're gonna walk the feet out, small step out. And then bum against the wall, back against the wall, back of the head against the wall. From here, shoulders pressing into the wall, Palms are out at a 45 degree angle. Start to tilt your hips forward and start to feel that lower belly pull in towards the spine. You should start to feel your lower back press against the wall. Keep pushing your shoulders, keep pushing the back of your head into the wall. Keep your knees slightly soft. Use your toes to push yourself into the wall. Stay here. Four, three, two, and slowly release. You can come away from the wall. Or you can just rest against the wall, letting your knees and your toes rest for a moment here. One more time, palms out at a 45 degree angle away from your body, palms against the wall. Press your back of your head, your shoulders, your upper back, your mid back against the wall. And start to tilt your pelvis forward. So your hips are going forward and your lower back starts to press into the wall. Feel that lower belly contraction. We're going to need this later on. So let's just really try to work that lower core. Press into your toes, keep your knees soft if you need to, stay here. For 10, let's work that core. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come away from the wall. Palms against the wall behind your bum. Option one, your feet stay where they are. Option two, you're gonna walk your feet further away. We're gonna lift the chest, fingertips against the wall, squeeze the shoulder blades in towards each other. Oh, our back body is probably one of the weakest parts of our body, so this is not super enjoyable, but it is quite necessary. Broaden your collarbones forward. Those of you who want to stay, stay here. If you can take it a bit further, try and bring the thumbs in towards each other. Ooh, three, two, and one slowly shake the shoulders out. Good job. We're gonna come into a seated position onto the mat. Now, those of us that have a lot of tightness in the hamstrings and in the back, you'll find that it's actually really hard to just sit up like this. You're, end up, you're really rounding your back and you're ending up like that. So this wall stretch is gonna be great for you. And we're gonna have the pillow here to place underneath the knees if you start to feel a lot of tension in that back. One fist distance away from the wall. Toes pointing up. You're gonna lean your back against the wall here and you're gonna try your best not just to sit like this. It's not just a relaxing posture. You're gonna have your fingers against the floor and you're gonna try and lift your chest up. And you're gonna try to suck that belly in just like we were doing before. And you're gonna try to tilt your hips forward. Your bum goes back, press your elbows into the wall and lift your back against, away from the wall. All right? If this does not feel like anything to you, you're gonna walk your back all the way in towards the wall, flatten your back against the wall, press into your fingertips, and press that lower belly into the wall here. All right, we're really trying to flatten the spine against the wall. Those of us that are away from the wall and you still feel like this is too much, go ahead, you can sit on the pillow this is gonna help elevate your hips a little bit so that it isn't too much of a stretch in hamstrings. Or the other option is you can place the pillow underneath your knees just to soften them a bit. Wherever we are, we stay here for another three, two, 
and one. Now from here, walk your hands up towards the ceiling, biceps by the ears. Take a nice long inhale. We're not going to do anything in the upper body, we're going to focus on that lower body. You're going to push your bum back and you're going to tilt your hips forward. So you're going to use that core strength to keep pulling the belly in towards the spine like we did just now. And you're going to use that to pull yourself down towards the thighs. You need to keep your knees soft. Those of us with our backs against the wall, you're going to feel your bum push towards the wall. Staying here. When you are okay, release the fingertips down beside the ankles or down beside the knees or down beside the thighs. Breathing here. Keep your chest open. Keep your back flat. Pull yourself down just a bit more. Stay. Three. Two. And one. Slowly release. Coming back up. Shake the legs out. Okay, removing the pillow from underneath the bum here, if you were on the pillow. Now let's try to push ourselves further into the wall a bit more. So wherever is your maximum and you start to feel yourself going like this against the wall and your bum is pushing away, walk yourself out a little bit and sit up tall. Now pull the toes in towards your face, staying here. Raise your arms up towards the ceiling and your thumbs are going to try to reach for the wall. So for those of us that are away from the wall, you still can try to reach your thumbs against the wall but make sure that you're not collapsing into that lower back. Keep Pulling your belly in towards the spine. Think of pressing your back against the wall. Stay here. Thumbs against the wall. Shoulders away from the ears. Breathe. Keep trying to raise your thumbs towards the wall. Some of us might be stuck here. Really hard to go back. It's okay. Keep pulling your thumbs in towards the wall. Pull the toes in towards the face. Soften the knees. Breathe. Two. And one. Slowly release. Step your feet into the floor, chest into the thighs, hug your knees. Nose down towards the knees, take a rest here. It looks like I just tortured you all for the last 10 minutes and you're crying against the wall. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Breathing here for another three, two, and one. Okay, so we're going to do our first version of butterfly pose. This version is going to have us seated with our back against the wall. You're going to bring the soles of your feet in towards each other. Again, those of us who have super tight hips, go ahead and grab your pillows and place them underneath the knees. Okay? Chances are if you need the assistance from the pillows, your back is not going to be against the wall. You're going to feel yourself slouching back. But most importantly, you want to think of sitting up tall. Again, if your bum is away from the wall, do not lift that lower back away from the wall. We want to make sure that we are still trying to flatten the back so your lower belly is hollowing in. Grabbing your ankles, sitting up tall, stay here. This is option number one. Option number two, if you are okay without the pillows, remove them. Allow the knees to fall out. Allow your feet to open up like a book. You can place the backs of your palms or your palms onto the knees or the insides of the thighs just so that it's a bit of added weight so that the knees can go down a bit more. Those of you who are okay, you know, walk your bum against the wall, sitting up tall, and then from here, you know, slowly peel yourself off the wall, vertebrae by vertebrae, upper back, mid back, lower back. So there's a slight rounding in the back here. We're not focusing on going too deep, we're just really just trying to release that back body here. When you do this, you will find that it's actually easier to get the knees down towards the floor. So we're just letting the hips open up. Remember, do not go 100% into a stretch if you're going to stay there for a while. Shoulders away from the ears. Remember to try to keep it at like a nice 70 to 80% or even 50% if you feel it's too much for you. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Slowly come back to center, step the feet into the floor, draw the knees into your chest if you need to, walk your bum away, rounding the nose down towards the knees, hug your shins. Stay here for another three, two, and one. Very 
very nice. Okay, moving on to the next sequence. We're going to lie down onto the floor, onto the mat. And your bum is going to come quite close towards the wall. Depending on your flexibility in your hamstrings, it really depends. Ladies, if you have a ponytail, place a towel underneath your head. That's going to help take a little bit of relief off the ponytail bum. All right, so I've got my bum quite far away from the wall here. You're going to walk your feet up the wall. Again, if you're scared about dirtying your wall, go ahead and put on socks. See if you can straighten your legs fully. Don't lock the knees. Keep them soft. And see if your back can press firmly into the floor. If you are okay, you are going to stay here. Those of you who are super flexible, go ahead and walk yourselves in. I like to get my bum right against the wall. Small, small gap. All right? This takes a bit of coordination. You know, wiggle yourself all the way towards the wall. Very nice. From here, flex the toes down towards your face. Palms beside you at a 45 degree angle away from your body. Make sure your belly is hugging in. Your lower back is against the floor. Your bum is not lifting off. If you are doing any of those things, walk yourself away from the wall. All right, wherever we are, palms down. You're gonna pull that right foot away from the wall. Keep the knee straight or slightly bent if you can, but make sure that the foot is set over the hip. Pull it in, stay here for another three, two, and one, release the heel towards the wall, soften the knees. Take a nice long inhale. Exhale, pull your belly in towards the floor. Pull the left heel away from the wall, stay here. Bend the knees slightly if you need to. For another three, shoulders down. Two, and one, feet against the wall. All right, from here, reaching your fingertips up towards the toes. I'm gonna try to crunch up. This is more of a hamstring stretch than it is a crunch. So you're really imagining that you're trying to reach for the toes. Stay here. For another three, those of you who are flexible, pull the heels away. Point the toes down, two. And one, slowly release the heels. Lower your shoulders and your head down. Take a rest. Bend the knees, step your feet into the wall. Is one of my favorite moments. Just reclining like this. It's like child's pose, but lying down. All right, from here, I'm gonna reach that left leg up towards the ceiling. The heel is against the wall, keep the knee soft. Now we're gonna step that right ankle over onto the left thigh, coming into a supine pigeon. So this reclined pigeon is very nice because you don't need your hands. You actually can relax the upper body and you're going to find that this is going to go really quite deep into your glutes. So from here, start to bend the foot, sorry, bend the foot, bend the knee, step the foot into the wall. Now, if you already start to feel that like your bum is lifting off here, you need to walk yourself away from the wall a bit more. All right, if you are okay, you're going to slide your left foot down the wall and try to push your right knee away from you. Flex your right toes in towards your right knee. Push that right knee away from you as much as you can. See if you can slide that left foot down the wall a bit more. Where your maximum is, you're gonna step your foot into the wall and stay. Oh, I really feel this in my right hip and my right glute. So again, if your bum is lifting off like this, you need to push it down. If it's impossible, walk yourself further away from the wall you want to step your foot nice and firmly into the wall. Breathing here. Just be patient with your adjustments, okay? Some of us might have to keep shifting ourselves up and down. But remember, we just want to make sure that we're in a good alignment and you want to get a nice deep stretch. One more deep breath here. Keep pushing your right knee away from you. Flatten your back against the floor. When you are ready, slide that left foot up against the wall. Release that right leg and step your feet into the wall, bending the knees in towards the chest. Take a nice long inhale and exhale. This time, release your right leg up towards the wall, heel against the wall, left ankle crossing over the right thigh. All right, slowly start to slide your heel down, stepping your foot against the wall. 
See how this feels? My left side is so much tighter than my right. So I'm gonna take it easy here. Pulling your toes in towards your knees, pushing your knee away from you. Slide that right foot down just a little bit more. Whew. And step your right foot firm into the wall. Push your left knee away from you. Shoulders down. I can feel this stretch. Staying here for another five, four, three, whew, two, and one. Slowly slide that right heel up the wall. If you like that stretch, go ahead and pause the video for a second. Stay in it a bit longer if you want. Extend the legs up and then step the feet into the wall. Knees bent. You can go into your tiptoes here if you want. Just to get a little bit of a, like a compression into your thighs, into your belly. Stay here for another three. You can hug your knees if you want. Two. And one. All right, one more. We're going to step the feet into the wall. Different variations. You can even just start here, turn the toes out and breathe. Okay? But if you would like, if your hips are okay to open, you're going to step your feet underneath the knees, so in line with the knees. You're just going to think happy baby hips. And then you're going to turn your toes out and away from each other. So I'm already starting to feel this. And you're going to turn your heels up. So if you can, you're going to get your feet like a ballerina position. One straight line. All right, and if you want to, you can walk them out a bit more. Oof, this is really intense for me. I've got very tight hips. So if this is too much for you, walk the feet back in. Whatever degree works best for you, just stay there, okay? Wherever you are, you're going to place your forearms onto your inner thighs. That is going to give you some added weight into the stretch. Remember, you want to take it easy. Lower back is still on the floor, shoulders still on the mat. 50 to 80% is where we are. We're not going 100% in. Resting here. Just go to your happy place. The more your hips start to open, the more you can take your legs apart. Again, if this is too much for you, walk the feet back in, all right? Your toes can point out away from each other at a 45 degree angle, it doesn't matter. Whatever works best for your body. Staying here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Wiggle your feet, heel toe them in towards each other, close the hips. And again, feet against the wall or tiptoe against the wall. Compressing your knees into your chest. Stay here. For three. Two. And one, one last stretch before we come into our resting positions. You're going to have the soles of the feet in towards each other, like butterfly pose that we did just now. But this time, we're going to slide the heels down in towards the groin. You're going to feel a stretch in the ankles, so your choice you can consistently try to push the feet in towards each other, or you can let the toes reach in. Heels are apart, your knees are apart. All right? Those of you who want even more of a stretch, you're going to step your feet into the wall, lift your hips up, stack some pillows underneath the hips. It's going to elevate your hips, and it's going to allow your knees to open up even wider. Any variation of your arms, whichever works best for you, hands out at a 45 degree angle. You can place your hands onto your belly or one hand onto your belly, one hand onto your chest. Or if you want, you can reach your arms overhead, shaking your own hands, just allowing your shoulders and your chest to open up as well. Just resting here. It's not a massive, intense stretch. It's just allowing the hips to open. Breathing here. For another 10. Nine. So I'm one of those that are very, very tight in the hips. 
my hip flexors, my inner thighs are super, super tight. And generally, when you hold a lot of tightness in the hips, it means that you're holding a lot of stress. You're quite a control freak. So every time I come out of these hip opening stretches, I actually feel like I'm laughing or I want to laugh. So if you start to feel like it's a bit hilarious or you're going, as <laughs> you try to pull your knees in towards each other, don't worry, it's a very natural response. You're just letting go of tension, which is a good thing. Last two breaths, yeah? Last deep breath. When you are ready, hands onto the outsides of your knees. Slowly start to pull your knees in towards each other. Step your feet into the mat. If you have a pillow underneath you, step your feet into the wall. That's it, mat again. And place your lower belly and your hands down. All right. Hug your knees into your chest. Gentle rock side to side. From here, you're going to roll onto the right side. Knees over to the right, shoulders stay on the floor. Now, the feet can step into the wall. This is quite a nice stretch for the supine twist. I'm going to keep my gaze up towards the ceiling, but if you want to, go ahead and look towards your left elbow. Make sure it's in line with your shoulder. Step your feet from the end to the wall. That's going to allow your hips to lift a bit more, coming into a deeper stretch. If that's too much for you, just relax the feet and just allow gravity to do its work. Slowly inhale, bring your knees back to center into the chest. As we exhale, we drop the knees over to the left, right shoulder in line with your elbow. You can gaze up towards the ceiling like I'm doing, or you can look towards your right elbow. If you did it on the other side, step your feet firmly into the wall. You're going to feel your hips lift a bit more. If that's too intense for you, go ahead and just relax the hips and the feet. Wherever you are, we're staying here for a few more breaths. Slowly inhale, come back to center. You can hug your knees into your chest or you can step your feet into the wall, flattening your back against the mat. And just relax here. Yeah? Gently rolling over to your right side and pushing yourself up into a seated position. Those of you who want to take Shavasana, go ahead. It's up to you. If not, join me in this nice, comfortable seated position. Knees across. Hands up to your knees, sitting up tall. Check in with your body, see how you feel. If you feel kind of open, maybe a bit unsettled because you've opened your body a lot. It's very normal. Just give yourself a few more breaths to settle yourself onto the mat again. Maybe you're feeling an openness in your hips that you've never felt before. Or an openness in your spine. Or in your shoulders. On your next inhale, raise your hands up to as a seated. Interlace your fingers, flip your palms up. If you're in Shavasana, you just pause the video. Stay where you are, take as long as you want. If not, join me. Reaching the hands up. Reach your tailbone down towards the floor, stepping your shoulders over your hips. Swing over to the right. Coming back to center, swing to the left. Coming back to center, inhale, release the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Take a nice long stretch. Exhale, palms to your heart center. If you're not comfortable with this, go ahead and release your palms onto your knees. Wherever you are, big smiles on your face, a gentle bow to your hearts. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that stretch. Everyone is encouraged to do 30 minutes of physical activity daily. Stay home, but don't let that get in the way of you staying active. I'll see you in my classes. And this is where you can find more sessions if you want to do more workouts. My name is Sarah, and thank you for joining the session.
Take care.